everyone welcome back to my craft room if you're new to my craft room then welcome today i am working on my christmas junk journal that i make every year you guys have, may have seen this before if you follow my channel um these i make to organize all of you know my christmas gift lists um add some pictures in here after christmas and then i just make a nice little memory book here are some of the other ones that i made before this one i made out of an old christmas card um, and just put a little thing on here. It has all kinds of little doodads in there and all my lists for gifts for husbands and grandkids and everything else. And then I date them all so, you know, you can kind of look back and see, you know, what was going on that year. This is another one that I made. I lost one of the corners, so it fell off. But yeah, this one I dated on the back. Same thing, has all those different little pages in here. And then this one, was this last year's? No, this one was 2020. Um, I don't know what that is in there. Oh, that's just my envelope that opened up. Okay. But yeah, they're just fun, a fun little thing to make and just to keep for memories. And you can make these out of anything. That's why they're called a junk journal. Now, what I'm making this one out of is a empty cereal box. This was um, Oreo cereal and I just cut it out and you can make these any size so I'm not even going to give sizes because it depends on what you use um, you can just use a piece of like this real heavy like um, poster board or something like that if you wanted to do it but I'm going to use this cereal box because this is just a perfect size for it and I cut out some pieces these are just from a, um, one of my little Christmas pads here which one is this one um, I think this was from this one here from, got this at Michael's years ago, Home for Christmas. <laughs> it's the Recollections one. And they just have all kinds of pretty different papers in here that you can use. And uh, I don't know where one of my favorite pages. This is, these right here are my favorite pages because you can cut these out. Actually, I'm going to pull these out of here. I already cut some stuff out of it. But these pages you can use for all kinds of things in your junk journals. So I'm going to leave that out so I have those somewhere. I'll be room here. I swear I make more of a mess doing this than any other craft. Then I also have this one here, this the paper studio. I think this one came from Hobby Lobby and it just has all kinds of pretty Christmas designs in here. So I'm going to be using those two plus some scrap paper from all other things, you know, to make it more of a junk journal trying to find a place to set all this stuff. All right, and then you're gonna figure out your pages afterwards. I mean, you can add as many pages as you want, but the first thing we gotta do is get this cover going here so it can dry. I'm actually gonna glue this on with some of this Beacon 3-in-1 um, craft glue. I love this stuff, this stuff is great. And I'm also gonna be using like glue dots and, and whatever, glue sticks rather, and uh, all just all kinds of things. But these glue sticks, these are my favorite. I actually found another pack of these at Walmart, I believe, in the smaller ones. I usually have this real big one here that I use. It's the Extra Strength um, Permanent Bond glue sticks. Those are great. And then also on my cover, I'm going to be using an old Christmas card. So this is actually, it fits pretty close, and I think that'll look real cute. That's going to be my cover for this year's junk journal. All right, so first we got to get this on here. Now, when you measure your paper, you want to measure it, put it on here, and fold it around while this is closed. You don't want to do it when it's open because you actually need this little gap here to give you some room. So make sure you just take your paper, wrap it around like this, and then measure how you want to cut it so it fits perfectly when it's closed. The same thing with the one on the inside, which is a little more difficult because this one wants to stretch a lot when you open it up. So you got to kind of measure this one flat for the inside, but the outside you want to wrap it around here. So let's get the inside on here first, I think. So we're just going to take some of this glue here and we're going to spread it around with a brush. Let's see, what brush do I want to use? This one's kind of a good one. I'll tell you, these brushes from Dollar Tree are great. I've been painting a lot around my house, my baseboards and things like that. Um, I also measured the holes in here, where I want the holes to be. But we'll talk about that after I get this on here. So let's get some of this glue on here. So I'm just going to take this, come on down. Coming out yet? Yeah, there we go. 
I'm just going to take some of this, put it around the edge here so it gets close to the edge. Just smear a little of it back around here. And then we're just going to paint it on so we make sure we get it on the edges real good. I love this glue. This glue is wonderful. Yeah, you don't want those lumpy bumps in there. So you want to smear this around with a paintbrush. Make sure you get real close to your edges. There we go. And then we are just going to put that right down on there, hopefully. So in the right spot. Yes, okay. So that needs to be right there. All right, so that side's on. This glue is just, I love this glue. It's wonderful. All right, and then we're just going to do the same thing over here on the other. And I don't put any right in the center there because it needs that little bit of give to open and close nice. So, But you do want to make sure you get it right on your edges real good so it's not going to pop off on you. stick too much on my fingers. And as soon as you're done doing this, you want to make sure you get your brush in some soapy water because, um, eh, stick it to me here. Get all those lumps and bumps. There we go. I mean, you can use um, double-sided tape or whatever you want to use on here. You don't have to do it the way I'm doing it, but this is just the way it works best for me. Now, see, now when you open it up, it's going to have that little bit of a bump in the middle. But that's okay. It's supposed to be there. All right, now we're going to do the same thing for the outside cover. We're just going to go around the edges um, and get this on here, and then I will show you how we're going to do our pages because this is going to have to sit and dry for a little bit. All right. Actually, a sticker brush would have been a little bit better, but this will be fine. I want to ball up here a little bit on this cardboard, but that's okay. All right, now let's get our outside cover on here. Just gonna stick that in there. And there we go. That's the front or the back. I don't know which yet. There, perfect. And then we're just going to glue this back on. And I'm, again, I'm not even going to worry about gluing like down here. So I really don't want to um, glue that center piece. It's a nice cloudy, dreary day today, so I figured this is a perfect day to sit and work on my junk journal. Get these done, because I've already started Christmas shopping and I have, you know, I need my book here for my list. All right, there we go. So that's pretty much it for that. But we can go ahead and put on our um, front piece. There, so that's the front and the back, and then that is the inside. So cute, love it, love it, love it. All right, so now we gotta get this guy on here. Which him, I think, I don't know if I might use my glue stick for this. I figure out exactly where I want him to go. I think that's good right there. Yeah, it could be so cute. All right, I gotta stick that brush in some water here. All right, for this one, we're gonna use the Craft Bond Extra Strength Glue. Make sure I got the right side. And this stuff is a like a permanent glue. Ah, don't 
drop it. My shaky hands sometimes. All right, so I think I decided I wanted it right on that line there. I'll go for a little more. Got a couple minutes to reposition this stuff too, so. There, I think that looks pretty good right there. There we go. So there is the front of my junk journal for this year. So cute. I just love that picture. I thought it was so cute. Now I gotta get some glue off my hands because I'm just literally sticking my fingers on here. All right, so I keep these Dollar Tree baby wipes on hand. They come in very, very handy. Okay, so that is our cover. So easy, so easy peasy. Um, now for the inside here, for your pages, I'm gonna let this dry just a little bit longer. Sit that on top of you here. What else we got? Sit them on there. So you just pick out whatever paper you want. This paper here is actually, it was just a regular piece of computer paper, but I dyed it with some tea bags, which is so easy to do to make this, you know, vintage looking paper or whatever. And then I just took one of the pages out of that other book. Now when you cut these down, you got to make sure that when you close your book, they're not sticking out the end. So I always stick them in there, um, make sure, and then trim them down. So, because you don't want them to, if you, you know, cut them the same size as the book, once you get a few in there and you close it, they're going to stick out the end. So you want to make them a little bit smaller. So I'll show you that when we try to get them in here. And then I picked this one here. And then I got a whole bunch. This is paper here. It's actually just, um, do I have it here? Where are you? Oh, there he is. This actually just came off of a notepad. I believe this was from Dollar Tree. Just a regular notepad. I just cut it down, and then I used some of Tim Holtz Distressing Ink um, and my little finger sponge, which is ruined because I used that on some wood the other day. It's a mess. But I just used that and went around the edges of it and just scribbled a little bit of it in here just to make it not just so stark white in there. And I did that with all these pages. Um, now this one here is actually... This was computer paper, like some Christmas computer paper I had. I've had this for years. Don't even ask me where I got it. Um, a long time ago. But like Staples and all those places usually have like the Christmas decorated uh, computer paper and stuff. And then this, this actually, I just figure out how many pages I'm going to need for my lists. This is what I do all my lists on for Christmas. And then that goes in there. And then this one's going in here in the center. Now this is actually going to be the very center of our junk journal because this is going to be an envelope. I just took a regular piece of paper out of the um, card stock, measured it so it fit inside, and then left this flap here so I could fold it over so it would be like an envelope. And then on inside here is where we're going to hide our strings, how we put this together. So that's pretty cool. So that is what that is going to be. And then I have some stamps here and stickers and all kinds of things. And then I like to add some little pockets in here to keep tags in and things like that. I have this tag punch here. Um, I actually have this listed, I think, in my Amazon shop. That's always listed in the information below the video. Um, you can find this stuff in there. And I, well, this is my favorite tag maker. I need to find a piece of paper here that I can just cut me a tag out of. Oh, there's got to be, here we go. There's a piece of the scrap left from um, the cover. And this, this one is just so nice. I love this one. I just love the shape of it. So that's how that comes out. And then I do have a little punch somewhere. I don't know where I put that. It should be in this drawer, but so other, is this the one? Yes. This is this little teeny weeny punch. I think I got that at Michael's too. And then you just punch a hole in the 
tag there and then just put your string through there and you got yourself a nice little gift tag where you can just use these to journal on whatever you want to do with them but I have a bunch of them here that I made last year out of some of the scrap paper I had left over so yeah they make cute little tags and this is my favorite punch this is the size here if anybody needs to or wants to look that up and it's a recollections is what it is so that's what that is so yeah I love making the tags out of this different paper all right so I went in and I measured what page did I do that on uh, is it in here are you in here no am I losing my marbles I actually know I marked that on one of these pages I uh, guess not. I guess I am losing my marbles. Hmm. Oh, well, I'll get some new marbles. <laughs> I swear I measured that on here. But anyway, let's see. I think this should be good enough. I did measure them in here. I'm going to make three holes to put this whole thing together here. And what I'm going to use is this, it's like this awl. This tool somebody sent to me years ago. This is my favorite tool. They said they got it at Joanne Fabrics. And it has this all like on the end. And then the other side has these tweezers. And I'll tell you what, I use this thing like crazy. And it has lasted me forever here. So what I'm going to do is I marked three places here. It doesn't matter. Just kind of get them even. This one's probably about an inch from the top. And then you're going to take something sharp like this all or whatever you have. And just make yourself a nice hole. And then you're going to do the same thing up here with our top one. There we go. Stick that through there. And then we're going to stick it through here. And this is what's going to hold this whole thing together. All right, now I need to get this paper in here and mark it where I want to make these holes. Otherwise, I'm not going to know. So you want to get all your papers in there even. We're going to actually put paper clips on these before we actually do the holes. But I'm just going to put that in there so I can go in these holes here and just mark it. I got it in the right place. Yep, there we go. So now I can see where I need to make these holes. All right, you go back over here and dry some more. All right, so now I'm going to grab some paper clips. I have the big ones from Dollar Tree here. You're going to get all your pages. And this one here, you're going to have to open up because this is our centerpiece here that we need to get holes through for your envelope. You need to open that one up nice and wide there. I think I got everything else in here pretty good. And then just to keep these, you know, as you're poking your hole through, just to keep these nice and together, you just want to put some paper clips on here. And I actually overdo the paper clips, but I don't want these pages to move on me. So we are just going to clip all those together real good. Actually, I want some more. Oh, here's some more. There. So now we got them all together. And now we're gonna have to take open this up here and get her all again. That's not at all. Here it is. And we're gonna poke holes right through where we marked them from the outside. Come on. There's our holes for that one. And there. I don't know why it was harder to get through these papers than it was the other thing. Alright, so now I gotta go grab some string because I don't have that here and show you guys how we're gonna get this all together. Alright, so you're gonna need like a darning needle or something. I have this big darning needle here, and then I'm going to use some of this Baker twine, Baker's twine from Dollar Tree. Um, and that's how we are going to put this book together with this. Get this through there. Yay! First try. Look at that. 
All right, so then I always make it really super long because I'm always afraid I don't have enough. <laughs> and I'm sure that's more than enough. All right, so we got our baker's twine here. Yeah, I make a really long piece, just be on the safe side. All right, so now we're gonna take our book and this thing here, and we are gonna go start right here in the center hole. Gonna get it through there. I'm gonna go outside our thing, and you're gonna want to leave in plenty of this on the inside, and this is how we're gonna tie this off. So now you're gonna go from the inside to the outside, and then you're gonna go up top here to this hole. And hopefully we'll go right through. That would be nice, but probably not. Nope. So we're gonna get that in there, and then throw our paper. So that goes from the center hole up to the tippy top. And then we're gonna take this all the way down, leave the string on the inside there, all the way down to the bottom, and go through here in our cover. So that's why I like to make this extra long, just so I'm sure I have enough. So there you go, that goes all the way to the bottom. And then when we come through again, we're gonna come back through the same hole that we went through the first time but you want to bring it so it's on the opposite side of your string here to be able to tie this off really good. So there you go. There is our string to hold this together. What am I doing? Oh, did that get stuck together? Sure did. I went right through my stuff. All right, there we go. That tightened up though. That will be fine. But there, and then you'll just have this on the outside here. You can cover that up if you don't want to see it, but I think it looks cute. Like, just like that. All right, so let me get that needle out of my way. And then, let's see. Yeah, I actually went through my thread. So now I'm gonna take one and put it on one side of this string here, and one on the other. Get this to pull nice and tight. And then you're just going to tie a knot. That's it. Easy peasy. Like I said, you put as many pages in here as you want to. And then the fun part after you do this is decorating it all. I always do this like three times. All right, then we're going to cut that. There we go. Take off our paper clips. need a couple paper clips. I need probably four of these. All right, so now to make our envelope here in the center and to hide this string, we are just going to put some glue up these two sides here. And I'm actually going to use some of this to make sure it stays. Come on out. All right, just, a, just these two sides, that's it. And this is what's going to keep our envelope closed. All right, fold that. All right, now I'm gonna put these clips on here just to keep it so we can keep working on this thing here. Let's hold it down on the glue nicely. our envelope in the center and it hides our string so you don't see any of that string you only see it on the outside here and uh, yeah there you go it's not cute love it all right now so on the back here how we're gonna close this thing is another fun thing to do I cut out one of these little um, sayings out of there you can use whatever you want and I'm gonna back it with this um, white paper that I just went around the edges and distressed it a little bit just so it's not so so white and this is actually going to go back here but first we need to put something here to close this and what I'm going to use is some of this um, Rogaine ribbon here this is from Dollar Tree just some red this is the what 5 8 inch you can use whatever you want really doesn't matter and then I gotta figure out where 
the center this is going to be about I don't measure anything on these either I mean you can if you want to be absolutely precise so I think that's going to go like right there so then our string needs to go right here so we're going to glue down this ribbon come on you could use hot glue on this too if you want to but we're just going to glue that down there Actually, I think I'll put a little more glue under here just to make sure it stays nice. And now, whoops. There we go. So I'm going to glue that down there. And then I'm just going to cut this long. It's not going to go over this far, but just for now, while we're working on it, a little bit longer. But this is how we're going to close this. Um, so this is going to be on the back, and I'm going to take this piece here, glue that over top of our ribbon, back here, I hope there's enough room on here where I can put the date, because I like to put the date on the back. there and I just measure this when I cut it out I just mark it and just cut it out with my uh, paper cutter here it's you know like I said nothing has to be absolutely perfect on these unless you really really want it to be all right now this is going to go right on here and of course I have some hair on my finger. Cat, probably, because she sneaks in here sometimes. Wait, don't glue down yet. There we go. All right, so that will be back. I guess I can probably write, I'll use a black marker to write the date on this one. All right, so that is the back, and this is going to be where our little uh, closure is going to be. And then on this side, I like to like, give it a little bit of room, you know, because you're going to start filling this up with stuff. So just kind of, you know, give it a little loop like that, just so you have some extra room here. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut this right here, just like so. And then for the end of this, I take a lighter. This poor lighter's got paint and everything else on it. And just go over the edge of your... Oh, that's not very even. Hang on. That's better. Over the edge of your ribbon here, just go over it real quickly a couple times. And that will kind of melt that together so it won't fray. Um, so yeah, I like that. And then what we're going to use for a closure is these little Velcro dots get these at Dollar Tree too in the Crafter Square section and you're just going to take actually what I just I put these together like so because you have your two different sides there and then we're going to stick this down on our ribbon like so and I'm going to peel this off and then you're just going to then we're just going to fold this over here. I had to stop this because my battery wanted to die again. But you're just going to leave that little extra space and then get your cat hair off of here. This cat, I'm going to knock her out. She comes in here again. Just kidding. Love her to death. But <laughs> we're just going to leave that little loop there and then fold that over just like that and glue down our little Velcro dots. And then that is how you close your book. Just like so. And I'm actually going to add, I got these buttons. These I actually ordered on Timu. They had a whole bunch of different uh, really cute Christmas buttons. So I'm actually going to put that on top of there. And also this little, i got to get my glue gun plugged in. Uh, one of these little, I don't know, these are one of those flat back, flat back buttons. I think these came from Timu too. But you can get these a lot of different places, and that's I'm actually going to glue that in the center, and I think that'll look real cute like this. 
So I gotta get my glue gun plugged in here. Um, so anyway, let's go back on the inside here because this is the fun part where you can make whatever you want in here. Um, on my envelope here, I'm actually gonna add these little doilies. I took this little doily and I just cut it in half and I distressed it a little bit with a little bit of the distressing ink. And I think this will look pretty um, just to decorate this up a little bit. So let's use some of this glue stick here. I can't believe how long this glue stick has lasted me. I have used this like forever, it seems like. Now that I can get it off the table, there we go. So I'm just gonna decorate the top of this envelope a little bit. I mean, you can spend hours and hours and hours just decorating these however you want. It's fun. I love doing this. This is my favorite little journal to make here. So my hands are all sticky again. And it also worked to clean it off my table. All right. And then we're going to take the other one here and put that over here. I used way too much glue on this. It's not going to take that much to hold this little doily down. All right. And then we're going to put that right over this one to the corner. Just to jazz it up a little bit. There we go. So there's our... Oh, my hands get so sticky. Get on there. I need like a wet rag in here is what I need right now. Because especially glue in these, it glue comes through the top of the little doily. Oh, don't glue my other page down. No. All right. So anyway, and you can put a little Velcro um, dot on there, which is actually what I think I'm going to do to close your envelope. So I'll just take one of these, flip it over there. Let's see, that was about the center right here. So glue that on there and then pull that one off. So they're still together. That's how you make sure they, you know, match up real good. And then just push it down. And there we go. That'll keep our, our envelope closed. And then here you can like keep it, um, stick all your receipts and all that kind of stuff. You got lots of room once you get these paper clips off here after it dries, but lots of room to store all your receipts and stuff. And then like pages like this, you could add like a photo on here. Um, same with these here too, but I'm actually gonna add some pockets. We're gonna make some pockets. Those are really easy to do. Um, let's see. Uh, what paper do I wanna use? That's the whole dilemma. Mm, don't want to use the same paper there. Um, let's see. What do we got in here? Oh, the snowflakes. We're going to use one of these in here. We're going to make a pocket on this page just so I can stick some things in it. And now I'm just going to measure this quick. I don't do anything perfect on these, I tell you right now. But. You don't want to get too close to your center because you need to be able to close this. So we're just going to make this little pocket here. And now we're just going to make this one about yay tall. Not a, no, maybe a little bit taller. Let's see. Cut that there. So we'll cut this up here. We'll make this a little deeper pocket on this side. And then you're just going to take, I use my paper cutter. I love this. This is the Fiskars. Um, I also have this listed in my Amazon shop if you want to check these out. I love this thing. I, I couldn't live without it as far as cutting straight lines and stuff. So let's see where I marked it here. You're just going to cut that. I mean, it's just so quick and easy. And right here. There we go. I can make a tag out of that one. Alright, so then we are just going to put some glue on three sides of this. Don't want to get too close to the edge. 
I need something to stick this in so it stays upside down. But this is how I make my pockets in here. Oops, three sides. You want to get too close to the edge so it doesn't ooze out too much. There we go. I got three sides of glue. And if it looks too thick, you can kind of wipe that off a little bit. All right, so this pocket's going to go on this page. Please tell me I got it the right way. Yes, I do. Okay. Because <laughs> you want the top open. And that's not the page I was going to put it on either. No, it's not because it doesn't even fit right. But we're going to have to do it now because I glued it. I wanted it on that tea stained paper. <sighs> well, it's going to have to go right up to the edge. It's fine. <laughs> all right, it's going to close all right. Yes. All right. So now we have this one here, so we could take some of these, like, not yet, it's got to dry, but I'm just going to show you, you know, stick some of your little tags in here, or whatever you want to stick in there. Yeah, we'll just leave those in there, that's fine. And then here's all my lists that I can start writing my stuff down that I've already got people for Christmas. And then you can add, like, a stamp. I have all these stamps from, um, oh, please don't ask me where they all came from. I'm pretty sure these all came from... Timu. I'm pretty sure, but these guys are so cute. Um, there's my little stamping block. Oh no, that's way really too big. Um, let's see. Is it over here? I just got some stamping blocks too from Dollar Tree. Actually, I think this one here is from Dollar Tree. A long time ago, I got it from Dollar Tree. But. All right, I need an ink pad. Here we go. Let's put some cute snowmen on here, and then you can sit and color them later on. We're not gonna do that right now because it's gonna take way too much time. But let's see, let's put this happy little guy up there. I think he'll be cute. Let me just put that on your stamping block here. And hopefully I get this on here right. This is why I like to do a lot of times I'll do it before I put the pages in or do it on a separate piece of paper because if I mess it up now, I'm going to be mad. But let's get him up here. Ta-da! Look how darn cute that is. And then you can just color him in. Maybe I'll add some more of him up there or another one of him. That's what I mainly use these baby wipes for, is to clean them off. Or we could just, um... Stick him right back on there. Let's see. Oh, we could add a snowflake. And... Oh, this happy little guy here. We're going to add him too. Let's put this snowflake. Oh, we could make different colored... You could use different colored ink too for this too. I'm just going to stick with the black. There's our snowflake, and see, I booed it up already. It's all right. <laughs> My hands are just so unsteady right now with this medication I'm on for my CIDP. It's ugh, so annoying, especially when you're trying to do stamping and stuff. But we're going to get it done. All right, he's going to go up here, and hopefully we can fix our botched up thing here. Nope. I'm going to have to cover him up now. Darn it. I poured it up. You guys won't do this mess. I'm going to see if I can get this to match on here a little bit. If not, this page is going to be covered up. Let's see. Steady hands we go. Not too shabby. I actually got his face and everything back in there. <laughs> and I fixed my boo-boo. That's fine. But my advice is do this before you put your pages in or do it on a separate piece, is which I'm going to do for the rest of this, that's for sure, because that was a pain. But I'm trying to hurry here and get some of these on here because this video could turn into, like, hours and hours. But anyway, that's just the basic thing. I wanted to show you how to get this together. And then the sky's the limit on how you want to decorate them. Here's our center one here. 
our nice little Velcro closure. And then I'm probably going to leave this blank. Um, yeah, probably, because I'll probably add a picture or something there. And then this stuff here, you can just decorate up to your lists. This one's going to get another pocket eventually. Um, and probably back here, I'll probably add another photo because that's always fun to, you know, for the memory to have that. Um, I need some more glue in here. Oh, my glue gun, I never did plug that thing in. All right, so now I think I might put some of this washi tape on here. I got this really pretty washi tape. This is all from Timu, too. So many pretty different ones. Are you going to slide out? No? There we go. Look how pretty all these are. Aren't they nice? Yeah, all from Timo. They have all different kinds. I know these, I'm pretty sure most of these that I have right here in my hand are already sold out. Um, but, oh, that even matches my cover. That, let me get that out of there. Um, yeah. There we go. Let's go. I'll leave that in there. That's noisy. Here it is. Matches my inside of my thing. How pretty is that? There's just all different kinds here. So let's see. What do we want to do? Real quick like here. I mean, even this plain page here, you could really make that fancy with a little bit of this tape. Let's see. Oh, I like this one here with the trees. Let's try this one. I hope this is nice washi tape. I haven't used it yet. I can't find the end of it. There it is. All right. So. Oh, these trees go two different directions. Good. So there's no wrong way to do this. <laughs> so I'm just going to put this one down on the edge of this paper. And then you need like a little credit card or something. I have this um, sharp little book mark from um, Starbucks, actually. But you can use just like an old gift card or something. That's what I like to do. Or you can just cut it with scissors. But this is just a quick, easy way to just rip that off. Oops, that one didn't rip all the way off. All right. Get in there with some scissors and make it even. There we go. So you have that page line there at the bottom, real pretty. I'll put one up on the top too. I love using washi tape. It's just so fun. And there's so many different pretty ones. So that is that. I should have left this sit a little longer. I'm probably going to have to put a little hot glue under there, which I still did not plug in my hot glue gun. All right, let's go here. All right, now it's plugged in. <laughs> but let's see, what else do we want to do this? Um, yeah, this is just the fun decorating part. Oh, I also have these stickers here that I got from Timo. This little, oh, he'd be cute on here. This little Santa on a reindeer. These feel really nice, too. They almost feel like vinyl. Well, let's see how easy this is to get off of here. Let's see. No. I hear a little pee out there making cute noises. I hope he's behaving. My husband's out there with him. But, you know, he can get into some trouble, that boy. So let's put him up here flying through the sky. These are really cute stickers. I like these a lot. There you go. Put that up there, and then you can just jot things down on here if you want. What else we got? Maybe we'll just put a skinny piece of tape on this one so I don't take up too much room of this page. 
Um, you'll put this one up a little bit higher. Can't go wrong with the washi tape. There we go. So that page is decorated real quick and easy like. Um, I don't know what, I said I think I'm going to put a picture on here, so I'm not going to do anything else to this page. I'm not doing anything else to that one. This one, I mean, you can make a pocket also if you want to. Um, I need like a plain color. I don't have any plain colors out here. What's this book I can use? It's not too, too crazy. Here, this red. Let me get a piece of this red paper out of this book. Yeah, and then we can make our little pocket go this way. So let's see, let's just mark this here. And I don't want it too big. So I can slide things down in it. Grab our paper cutter. Oh, how I wish the sun would shine. It's so much easier to see this stuff. And where else did I mark it? Oh, I can't see it. Oh, it's this piece. There we go. All right. Perfect. So we're going to take some more of this glue here. It's an old faithful glue. And we're going to do that on three sides again. Whoops, we didn't want to do that. I did not want that glue in there. There we go. That'll be fine. All right, so then you're going to take your three sides and glue it towards this side here. And there you go. There you have another little pocket to stick in whatever you need to stick in here. You can make this a little note thing. Also, what's fun is to take some of this paper here and just make little cutesy little notepads here to, or note, I don't know what I'm trying to say, pages. Oh, this was also in that one of those books. Hmm, actually, that might be nice on the back. I was going to do a picture back there, but I think that'll be cute to uh, put on here to jot some more little notes down. But you can use this paper, too, and just back it with some pretty um, paper like this and make yourself a whole bunch of little note cards or just use, you know, regular little index cards and decorate them up a little bit. I used to do that too. So I'm just going to glue this one right on in there. I forgot I had this page. But I'll let you guys go here in a second because this is just going to be a matter of just decorating however you like. Be. Got some glue over there I don't want there. These white erasers are wonderful when you get a boo boo of glue. A glue stick. I don't know about regular glue, but there we go. And then maybe we'll put some washi tape on this page too. We could do that. Mm, not in that color. Oh, well, that's pretty. This one here with the, um, or this one. Ah, too many pretty colors. All right, we're going to use this one here. What is this one? Got Christmas trees and stuff on it. It says Jingle Bells on it. Uh, I think I got all these from Timo. It's the first time I've gotten to work with it, and it, it actually works really good, so I'm happy about that. But I'm going to do this page, and then I'm going to let you guys go, because, oh, no, I'm not. 
I'm lying because I want to put my button closure on there first. Just so you can see how that looks. I'm going to put this right on the bottom of this. Oh, why is that tearing silly? Well, at least it made it to the edge. Yeah, sometimes your washi tape wants to be stupid. There we go. All right. I just thought it would be fun to hang out today and just do this because I've, you know, I've been really, really wanting to get to it. And um, but today with the rain and stuff, it's not raining, it's just cloudy and ugly. But um, it'd be a perfect day to get this done. And just hang out. And I don't usually hang out on the weekends with you guys. But i got to get these things done. You know, Christmas is coming so fast. I mean, Thanksgiving's like in a matter of a few weeks. It's just crazy. All right, I gotta peel this up because I didn't leave that long enough to cut. This table's such a mess with stuff. I have so much stuff here. Uh, let's see if I can get that cut straight. Good enough for me. All right, and then there's another cute little journaling page. I mean, you just can keep going. You, I, I could work on this thing for hours, so I'm not going to keep you guys for hours because I know you've got things to do. All right, I'm going to take these off because I'm going to close this thing up now for a while. Um, and that's pretty well dry. All right, now we're going to close this up here so we can get our button on here. Hopefully my hot glue's... Whoops, ready to go. This thing's oozing all over the place. I need a rag. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Here it is. Get this glue off of here. There we go. Let me close you up. All right. So now we're going to take our button. And now I don't know where my little thing went. Here it is. My little flat back button. And, yep, glue gun is ready to go. So we're just going to put some hot glue on here, glue that right on top of there, and then we're going to take this little guy here, this little flat back little pearl, and put that right in the center of the button. There we go, look at that. My tape stuck on my finger. In the center. That's good. That looks very nice. So there, that is our little closure for this thing. I'm really hoping this is showing up brighter than what it's showing on my screen because it looks really dark in here, but I don't know. I'll see when I upload this to the computer. I can see much better. But that's it. That's all we're going to do for right now. Like I said, you can decorate it as much as you want, as little as you want. Leave room for photos. Recipes is always another great idea. You could even make this into a little Christmas um, cookie recipe book if you wanted to to give to somebody but you know, here's our little side pocket here and that's it so but anyway thanks so much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this little project and I will see you all next time have a great day everyone